Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk about RISC-5. RISC-5 is in development for quite some time and it is gaining momentum recently. So let's see what is this RISC-5. First and foremost, RISC-5 is not a processor architecture. Instead, it is an instruction set architecture. So what I mean by this is clock speed, memory, peripherals are not part of the RISC-5 standard. Instead, RISC-V specifies multiple sets of instructions, how they should be encoded and how it should work. That's it. RISC-V is open source, so it allows anybody to develop a component out of this RISC-V ISA. It can be for open or commercial or proprietary purpose, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't force you to share the hardware details you built out of this RISC-V ISA. So basically, if you know any of the hardware description language like PHDL or Verilog, you can just go ahead and build a component based on the RISC-V ISA and you can call it by your name. In the previous slide, I talked about RISC-V. So the RISC-V standard uses a couple of terminologies like RISC 5 core and RISC 5 platform. So it is worth understanding what they are. So the RISC 5 standard has two parts privileged spec and unprivileged spec. We will see later what is this privileged and unprivileged spec, but for now, the unprivileged spec section 1.1 .1 discusses what is the RISC 5 core. So it says a component is termed a RISC 5 core if it contains an independent instruction fetch unit. That's it. Simple. But what is this? If you don't know what is this instruction fetch unit, then I would highly recommend you to Google DLX, which is an age-old RISC-based processor which has this four stages of pipeline. So each instruction goes through this four stages, which is like the instruction is fetched in instruction fetch stage and it is decoded to understand what to be done in the decode stage. Then it is executed in the execution stage and the results are written back into the registers in the write back stage. To know more, you Google it. The spec also says that a RISC-V core might have additional specialized instruction set. So, as you know, the to be compatible for a RISC-V ISA, all it has to do is support a minimum set of instructions. Here it says that a core might also support additional specialized instruction set. It can also have an added coprocessor. So what is a coprocessor is it might not have a instruction fetch unit by itself, but it is just connected to the RISC-V core and the RISC-V instructions can be streamed to this coprocessor and it can handle it by itself. Let's see what is a RISC-V platform. A RISC-V platform might just have one single core of RISC-V or it can have a core and a coprocessor which we discussed before. It might also have a RISC-V core and an accelerator which is uh, advanced instructions to perform certain operations or it might have a group of or multiple RISC-V cores.